Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another haul video. So um, things have just been kind of trickling in here and there. So let me just share with you what I got. Um, this is all my Stampin' Up! order. But before I share that, let me just show you what else came in. Um, so I er, showed you earlier, I did get the bunny bow set, um, which is a KS Craft die set. Um, but my only, my the big set only came in. So now the smaller set is here. So now I have, um, I can play with that. And then the other thing I ordered was, this is also from Amazon, but it's a die. I didn't realize it was the stamps too, but um, you get the dies and the stamps and it's um, like conversation hearts. So I thought that that was kind of neat. I don't know that I'll use the stamps, but I'm really interested in the dies. So as you can see, it's um, it looks like it's going to emboss the... the um, after you run it through your die cutter so i'm hoping that that's what it does that's why i bought this set but that's um that's the other thing that i purchased from amazon and then i have a couple more sets that are supposed to come in but they haven't come in yet okay and then i did place an order um with stampin up uh and yeah i wasn't gonna get it and then i started seeing everybody post their projects so if you can't tell by now i'm a little gumball uh, machine crazy so i have a lot of those gumball machines from target um ginger just gave me a little kitty gumball machine which i'm dying over and then um and then i have like several gumball machine dies and so um and i just ordered one more so you, i'll share that when it gets here and maybe after i get that last one i'll do like a um comparison of all the different gumball machine dies i don't know if you're interested in something like that but anyway so i did i was going to order the hedgehog punch and then at the last minute i decided not to get that and i decided to get the cactus punch instead and if you've watched my videos before you'll know that i'm not really like a fan of cactus like i don't it's not something that i i bought a lot of cactus stuff when it was really popular but i do like the shape of the, the of the shapes that you would be able to punch out so that's the reason why i got it i'm um, not necessary to make a cactus itself but more so that i can use the different shapes because it's it's different from like just a regular circle right so i'm thinking like i can make like animals out of it like you'll have this as the body and then you can just add attach like circles and stuff so that's kind of what my vision is for using that that punch um i don't know if i said stamp but i meant punch okay and then i did say that i got the gumball machine i think that's what this is it's the um is it cut and emboss maybe it is um it's i only got the die so it also has a matching stamp set but i haven't really been stamping much lately so i didn't think that that was worth it for me to to get at this point so i just only got the gumball machine and after i saw people using it i really liked um the way that it looked i liked the fact that it had like embossing here um go check out poochie's video because i know she did like a whole live just using this and it came out really cute so i only like i said i only got the dies um for this set but i'm really excited to try and use it and the reason um you know it's a little bit different from the other sets because i guess it has um it has the matching i think this is it it has the matching uh what is it called the window the plastic window that goes with it so it pops up so you actually when you die cut this piece it pops up through the back which is a little bit different from how the other dies work so maybe i won't like it i'm not sure um, i'm gonna try it out and if i really like it i'm gonna buy more of these um, the other thing that i bought that coordinates with it is these um they're like little beads um frosted bead assortment so they're it's really cute so i just got one set of it but um as i was kind of i mean i know i have seed beads so i can always use that and you can always use like confetti and other things or sequins but i did see at walmart like a jar of i don't know what it is i think it's like water beads so i think if you if you put them in water i think they swell up and then I don't know if they're supposed to be like for flowers like flower arranging and stuff like that i have no idea but they kind of look like this so i'm considering buying that i want to take a look at it more closely to see if i like all the colors these actually were prettier colors i think the one there was more like primary colors so i guess it depends on what kind of project you're going to do if i buy it i will definitely share it so you guys know what i'm talking about um and then this is what is this this is designer paper did i order that one i think i think this is the freebie okay so this must be the one that i ordered 
Oh, yeah. So, so I guess their designer series paper and all comes in smaller sheets. So I guess that's what this pack is. I just really liked, I thought that they were really cute and cheerful and great for backgrounds. So that's why I picked up this set. Um, let's see. You get, it's called Abstract Beauty. It's four by six sheets. And how many do you get? 48, I guess, a sheet of it. Is This is actually really good if you plan on making cards because it's kind of like already pre-cut for you. Um, and then it is celebration time. So that means that if you spend over, I think, $50 or over $100, you can choose from certain products and they'll give it to you for free. So this is what I chose, which is the Rainbow um, Paper Pad Collection, um, Sunshine and Rainbows. And it comes with, I guess, 48 sheets. Um, I'm not going to open it right now, but I will try to link... Um, if I can find it, then you can take a look and see what it is. But overall, I was pretty happy with a lot of the new products they have. I'm not a super, like, Stampin' Up! fan. Um, but from time to time, they come out with these products that I just can't live without. So um, so I did place that order there. And, you know, hopefully I'll start to be able to play with it. Again, I think I'm going to probably try to do, like, a gumball machine um, video to show you all the different dyes that I've been able to collect over the years okay well that's all i have to share with you today i hear my mailman coming so i might have some additional things but other than that i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye